What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Bald Man Reacts. <sighs> so, getting into some more because that extra request goes out to the always amazing and wonderful Kareen. Getting into some old stuff, stuff that I haven't heard. Well, there's still plenty of good stuff that I haven't heard. Track Anata, or This Life's For You. I will have the lyrics up in another window. I will link the translation to the incredible translations done by Heresy Archie. I truly appreciate their work for translating things. It certainly makes things easier when I'm doing a track. Very dedicated to what they're doing. I truly appreciate them. So, so thank you for doing these incredible translations for all of us. I truly appreciate it. Coming off a tent, it is the Gazette and Anata. This life's for you. And here we go. Ah. Nice, heavy game. Makes me happy. Voice sounds incredibly strong here. Nice solo going straight into this. Got a little bit of a pop edge, a lot of fun to it. Got a nice swing and movement to it. Love it. Always like with a lot of his faster tracks, he's very conversational in his lyrical approach. And his delivery. Certainly get a little bit of that punk edge. And I truly enjoy it. Great guitar accents. Really nice groovy to it. Certainly get some of that early 2000s pop punk feel to it which was certainly very popular at the time especially here in the states and in europe great shift nice groove to this chorus really like that guitar counterpoint Jumping into that hurry. Nice D beat there. Like that almost stop start riff. Very punk like feel. Phenomenal bass work, as always. Their bass player is incredible. I like that little vocal piece. It's a really awesome solo. A lot of heavy wah. Nice and nasty bit of attitude there. Dig it. Oh, a killer break with the riffs. That makes me happy. Again, even in your poppier tracks, you get a lot of this little nuance little additional bits of technicality so even when they were simpler not as metal they were still pushing it great great clean tone there that breaking glass snappy tone
really love that counterpoint that Aoki's doing. That is just awesome. And the the mixing on this is great. Just get it really forward in the left speaker or the left headphone. Crowder action there. Love to see showmanship out of front men, and Ruby does a great job out of Back into that lead line. You know, every time I watch their drummer live, he just—he looks like he's having so much fun. He's so animated behind the kit. He's very showy, and he just—he's got that big old smile on his face. Just when the band is having a good time, they push that forward. And they're giving it to the crowd. That's a treat. And it makes the band worth seeing live. That was the Gazettes and This Life for You. That was a lot of fun. Really fun, really bouncy, pop punk like track with some some metal elements in there. Some great solos, some really awesome guitar counterpoint and guitar melodies going on. Even though that was really early on in their career, you can see that they were destined for more as a band and more technically and exploring more different elements in their sound because they were clearly very competent and very capable musicians that were not that could certainly play at a higher level than they were playing. Not to say that they weren't playing at that level, but you know, listening to what I've heard and hearing say hearing some of the records that I've done, Stack Rubbish, most of Dogma, all of Dim. Still, still love that Dim record. It's just a great record. I know I've probably I probably walked myself into doing Neil when it popped up at the end of the Dim full album reaction. So it's probably the next one I'm going to have to grab and do for you guys. But you can hear the evolution of the musicianship, the technicality, and what they're capable of. But that's a fun track. It's an enjoyable track. The lyrics are really well written, but then again, it's Rookie and everything I've encountered from him. He writes really great lyrics. And there's little things. There's little nuances in the way he does things. You, They're ambiguous enough that you can interpret certain things out of there. I like the little innuendo and the playfulness at the same time there is a serious tone to what he's writing and that feeling of everything he thought about that person is just a lie it's really great stuff and they're managed to do it in such a fun happy poppy upbeat way so Karina as always you knew I was going to like it I knew I was going to like it because at this point it's the gazette and I really haven't heard anything I've disliked. So, I know I, I just did, I just redid the Terracene video, but this had to happen too, because I need to do something I haven't done by then yet. 
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for continuing to want to do this that stuff. You know, it's great to listen to it on my own, and that's fun. But allowing me to take that journey with you guys and do stuff that you want me to do like this and be able to experience that joy that I that I get to feel by doing this the first time and hearing this stuff the first time, it's even more fun. And I enjoy it. I really do. I love you guys. I truly do. Thank you for all of you who continue to subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I do have the dreaded Patreon page. It is up. Please feel free to support the channel a little bit as I'm still waiting to be monetized. I know I'm gonna have, I've got some more content coming up when that happens. And... I've got a couple of festivals I'm promoting, or a couple of things I'm promoting. I am doing Portuguese Distortion every Tuesday. Shameless plug there. I am going to start doing more stuff in support of the Osti Underground Fest, which is an incredibly important festival that I'm promoting in Brazil, or helping promote in Brazil, or er, correction, that Brazil, in Portugal. Yes, all of you Portuguese fans out there can shoot me for that. That is supporting firefighters in Portugal and what they do. So there's some stuff to look for. Some stuff to just check out, even if you can't make it too fast. But check out some of the Portuguese distortion stuff. Man, the first playlist was impressive. There's some stuff I didn't expect I would like, but I certainly did. I knew that Joanna and Daniel and the fans of Portuguese distortion are happy with it. And I've got there's uh, some requests coming in, so I'm curious to see what episodes two and three and four and beyond bring. But thank you all for being so open and being so amazing about all the different stuff that I do around the channel. I love you. Thank you to my law enforcement, military, veterans, and first responders for what you do every single day. I love you. I appreciate you. You are always in my thoughts. Thank you very much. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. I'll see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other and keep it.